On this album, you sing, like I said before, in Italian, yes. you sing in Spanish, you sing in English. I want to know which one was the easiest for you to do. I mean, we're going to assume it's English, but sometimes it's not. Uh, you know, it, they were all so easy in different ways. English, obviously, because it's, you know, my first language, um, is always one that I, I will always sing in because um, mm. it is the easiest, of course. But, uh, you know, learning the Italian is difficult. Uh, but I've got, I seem to have kind of an ear for Italian and Spanish. You know, I'm mm -hmm. learning. I was going to do some French on this album, but I need a little more training in that. But uh, yeah, Italian is such a musical language that sometimes even if people don't understand what it means. It's... Did you insist on knowing what word per word meant, or was oh, yeah. it just an? Oh yeah. Okay, oh definitely. Had... No, I, I I wanted to learn each song as if I were singing it in English. You know, mm -hmm. I want to know each each lyric. So that was very important to me. But in terms of getting to the point where I learned the song as well as I know the English. Mm -hmm. um, is very hard and then learning the pronunciation you know every syllable I had a little mark on you know just to make sure that it was as perfect as possible mm -hmm. so that was really important to me that we um, that we really got to the Italian market and they they accepted it uh, because you know it's, it's very hard being an American singer Absolutely. in Italian and Spanish. Have you had any reaction from Italians? Well or? they're going to release the album in Italy and they're oh. going to release one of the songs uh, really? Viva Me in, uh, in Italy as one of the singles so so f in terms of my record label in Italy they're very excited about mm -hmm. it and it, it's I think it's one of the first times they're going to release uh, a single from an American singing in mm -hmm. Italian. So well, you have a famous Italian who worked a little bit on this one, Tony Rennes, oh. <laughs> and then you have Umberto Gattica who worked yes. on the Spanish oh, and yes. stuff. So you've got like a. a I'm sure real... that they all they all gave you their opinion too they of the pronunciation yes. and the whole thing yes, along Umberto the way. Yes, Umberto was very yes for Alejate especially. Yes, he such was such a beautiful uh, song. He produced that track and, and was every other line he was giving me notes, you know, about how to pronun uh, pronunciate each word. So mm -hmm. they were all very very supportive mm -hmm. and very. Uh, had a real intent on making sure I, I did it as best as possible. So again, it was just a great learning experience. Love is the focal point of a lot of these songs. Yes. You're a young man of 20 years old. You're going to get out there on stage. You know what's happening. I mean, sure. girls, you know, will respond. People will yes. respond. I mean, are you ready for that kind of popularity and what it brings? I mean, have you thought about it? Have you been warned about it? Well, <laughs> What have people, you been told about that? Well, people always ask, you know, are you ready for that? Are you ready? I don't think you can ever be ready yeah. for it until it until it happens. And um, I've 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 got a I've got, certainly got a great female fan base, and it's it's, it's really growing. And and it's hard because you know in high school I was not the most popular kid. You know, I was I was not like the football jock that got all the girls. You know, it was mm -hmm. I was just into my own thing. And um, so so yeah, we're getting a lot of a lot of girls that are into this music as well mm -hmm. as guys. So it's mm -hmm. it's. You know, we'll see when we get there. You know. <laughs> Were you shy in school, Josh? Were you shy? Or? Yeah, I was pretty shy. Yeah. What was, was the dream before you knew exactly? I mean, what did you think you might do if it wouldn't have been singing? Or um, I played drums for six years. I always wanted to be a professional rock drummer. That okay. would have been really, really cool for me. Yeah, I, every day I go home and I play the drums. Mm -hmm. um, piano. I've been playing piano for a long time. I thought okay. maybe I wanted to be a professional piano player. Um, and then I started singing and acting, and I thought stage. This is what I have to do, whether it be theater, performing. I got to be on the stage, just that live involvement, uh -huh. getting that uh, chemistry from the audience it was something I fell in love with. So before I met David Foster, it was really kind of singing in theater, musical theater. Mm -hmm. um, Broadway was it for me. And, uh, and because of the CD, I've been able to reach so many more people than Broadway would have been able to. And maybe I'll go back one day. It'd be great. Or go for the first time. I want to talk about your family a little bit, because you dedicate this album to your grandmother, uh, Dorothy. Yeah. And you say that she's been a great inspiration to everybody who knew you. How how did she inspire you personally? Uh, she was just she was just so independent. Uh, you know, she lived to be 95 years old oh, and lived alone the whole time and went walking every morning and just she just had this vibrant love of life that mm -hmm. just inspired everybody and uh, and you know she would take the bus even though she couldn't see very well and she just she wanted very much that that independence and she just kind of inspired everybody. We all we all looked to her as the uh, the rock in the family. She mm -hmm. um, so so yeah, and she was so proud of of the fact that we were making the CD. So I thought, you know, absolutely, it's for her. And the other family members you also thank. So I gather that you're very close with them. You have a brother very, Chris. I've got a great brother Chris. Yeah. Parents who follow you around, who worry and who are all excited. <laughs> yeah. What's your brother say? My brother is very reserved. You know, mm -hmm. he's he's uh, he's 16, and uh, you know, he wants to go into film, uh -huh. and and he's. Oh, that's cool, Josh. You know, yeah, I saw you on uh, Larry King the other day. That's, that was really cool. Uh, my friends like that. Well, thanks, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think deep down he's really proud and really supportive. But um, you know, he's he's definitely into his own thing. Anybody else in your family sing musical? I mean, my father plays by ear. Yes. And he plays jazz trumpet. You're and kidding. Yeah, and he played trumpet nice. all through college, to yeah. college, and 
uh, he, he was just, according to my mom, really, really good. Mm -hmm. And uh, my grandmother, his mom, said, you know, go into business. And yeah. you know, I, he's 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 very good at what he does, and, mm -hmm. and he's he's a great businessman. But I think uh, he's always. He's always wanted to go back into music, and he's enjoying watching me get into the Absolutely. business. Absolutely, I remember watching him watch you. That's and right, was he was incredible there. Incredible pride. He was there. Oh, he was, was so excited for you. And Are he had they, that video camera. Yeah, sure. Are they worried about you now? Are they more excited? Does it outweigh? Does one outweigh the other? Um, or? it's day to day, you yeah. know, because it's such a it's such an up and down. There's so many different hurdles, you know, we have to get over, and and they're always excited. We're all very, very excited. Who are your inspirations? Um. Lots of lots of vocalists. Um, growing up, it was you know Mandy Patinkin who's yes. done a lot of singing and acting. Yes. You know, uh, yes. with his work on Chicago Hope and Princess Bride, and then his stage yeah. work in Evita. So yeah, he was he was a big one. George Fern from Sweeney Todd and mm -hmm. all the all the theater guys. You know, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I looked up to them. Now that I'm try starting to sing more classical music, I've I've kind of really studied some of the great classical singers. Mm -hmm. Just um, I wasn't always a fan of classical music, but but as a singer now, I, I'm learning so much from from listening, you know, to Pavarotti and and all the greats. It's it's. Um, Yet you've refused to do arias for right now. You for see? right now, yeah. yeah I've got, uh, you know, like I said, I've got, I've got so much that I want to learn in the next few years, and and I think we thought it was best that we stay away from the pieces that have been done so many times, yeah. Uh, yeah. just because I want to wait till I can really do them as best as I feel mm -hmm. I can. When so. you get up there on stage now, and you do you, I mean, have you done your own shows yet? Or I know that this is strictly a poem tour for you right yeah. now in Canada, but have you actually performed an entire concert of your material? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We're working on it, and hopefully, we'll have a tour set up fairly soon. We'd mm -hmm. like to start touring in the spring, and mm -hmm. start going in the summer, and and trying out some different things. There's a concert in the works with John Williams. I might do four or five songs with wow. the Boston Pops. That would be fun. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna see where we go, and, and we're definitely gonna put together a show, and we're gonna try and make it really unique. I just want to know when you first heard the album once it was finished, and you were given a copy to take home. Yeah. Did you listen to it by yourself at first? Oh yeah. Very first time. Yeah. Oh, I listened to it many many times because, you know, once the songs were completed, there was you know mastering, and there was uh, making sure that was correct, and you know we had to send it back many many times to mm -hmm. to get the songs spaced mm -hmm. correctly. And, I was very nitpicky. I knew these songs backwards and forwards, and and uh, I listened to it many, many times to make sure it was perfect. And now I haven't listened to it in quite some time. I'm just worried about doing it live now and mm -hmm. singing them, singing them a whole new way live. But, uh, but yeah, I, I I did listen to it many, many times. Well, you'll come back alone. to see us. I hope that you'll sing the next time for us. Will you? I would love to. I would love that. Thank yeah. you so much, and I'm so glad I was the first to interview <laughs> you a couple of years ago. It's I incredible. Knew it Who would have thought? I know. I, I told you I was <laughs> you did tell interview me. You, said you again, yeah. Josh. You absolutely did. Josh Groven, avec nous, son album est disponible dans tous les bons magasins. Vous n'allez pas le regretter. C'est un grand, grand talent à ne pas manquer. Thank you so much for being Thank you. It was an honor to be here. Continued success in everything you do. Thank May you so all much. your dreams come true. Thank you very much.